Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, we will do a speed test comparison between the iPad Mini 2 and the new Nexus 7 2013 edition. Just to give you a quick summary, the iPad Mini has a dual core A7 processor clocked at 1.3 GHz with 1 GB of DDR3 RAM, whereas the, the, uh, the Nexus 7 sports a quad core Snapdragon Pro processor clocked at 1.5 GHz with 2 GB of DDR3 RAM. In today's video, we will measure the processing prowess of the two using the Geekbench 3 benchmarking tool which allows us to compare the computing power of devices across different platforms such as the iOS 7 and Android. And uh, what Geekbench does is it simulates real world scenarios to come up with a final score. So let's uh, dive right in. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure nothing is running in the background. So double tap on the iPad, nothing in the background, no recent apps on the Nexus 7. Let's go ahead and launch Geekbench 3 benchmarking tool and menu and let's start the benchmarks. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward uh, so we don't waste time. Okay, so as you can see, the iPad Mini is done already, and the uh, we have a single core performance score, and we have a multi core performance score. Okay, so 1391 for the uh, single core and 2517 for the multi core, and let's just wait for the uh, Nexus 7 to get done as well. Okay, so the Nexus 7 is done also. So let's uh, take a look at the scores. So 1391 for single core on the iPad and 582 on the Nexus. Uh, and then for the multi-core scores, we have 2517 on the iPad and 1835 on the Nexus 7. So basically what these results are telling you is that the processing and memory power on the iPad is faster than the Nexus 7. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.